In the Russian Federation, the so-called Prigozhin No. 2, Georgi Zakrevsky, has once again become active, calling for a change of power in the country. A new video appeared on the internet from the owner of the Paladin military group, Zakrevsky, who once again criticized Putin and the Russian Defense Ministry for their inability to conduct special military operations. He first recorded a virtually identical video back in November 2023. Almost a year later, Zakrevsky became active again, the Ukraine 365 channel reports. According to him, Putin alone is to blame for all the troubles of modern Russia. The special military operation did not go according to plan. Drones are flying to St. Petersburg and even attacked the Kremlin. There is practically nothing left of the once formidable Black Sea Fleet of the Russian Federation, and the aviation is also gradually being driven out of the battlefield by the armed forces of Ukraine. Russia is already in trouble, so a change of power is necessary, Zakrevsky emphasized. Against the backdrop of the war in Ukraine, the people of Russia are becoming poor and drinking themselves to death. The country is overrun with migrants. Commanders who have never been to the front receive orders and medals from the hands of the Russian Defense Ministry and Putin, while ordinary soldiers of the Russian armed forces suffer from repressions from their command. Zakrevsky became a media personality only after Prigozhin's death, but unlike him, he criticizes Putin for the collapse of the Russian army. The Paladin PMC has about 300 people who have taken part in battles in Syria and Africa. Georgi Zakrevsky was born in Moscow in 1971. He is a lawyer, military consultant, and combat training instructor. He is the peacemaker. He is in the peacemaker base. Let us recall that against the backdrop of the Ukrainian armed forces offensive in the Kursk region, new measures are being taken in Moscow to strengthen Putin's security. Two special regiments, Oman and Rozgvardia units protecting the Russian capital have created daily reserves. Additional forces are sitting at bases in case of emergency for rapid response. Probably such strengthening of security measures is connected with the Ukrainian offensive in the Kursk region. The Kremlin fears that sabotage groups can penetrate the territory of the Russian Federation through the combat zone to eliminate the enemies of Ukraine, which include the top leadership of the Russian Federation and its servants. Explosions rang out in Russia's Nizhny Novgorod region, where the Savaslika military airfield is located, local authorities reported, adding that air defenses were activated in the area. Moments of the attack on the airbase were shared on telegram channels. The blows hit the place where the planes were parked. The images were taken and shared by the Russians. Airplanes are also visible in those images. Local media platforms say drones were spotted over the settlements of Valetma and Savaslika. According to open sources, a branch of the 4th State Center for Aviation Personnel Training and Military Tests of Russia's Ministry of Defense is based at the Savaslika airfield. According to local sources, there were at least 10 impacts at the Savaslika military air base. According to the Ukrainian Air Force, the airbase is home to MiG-31K aircraft, which are carriers of the Kinzhal missiles used by Russia in its attacks on Ukraine. The Savaslika Air Base is located about 600 kilometers from the Ukrainian border. A fire near the Savaslika airfield in Russia after a drone strike was detected by a NASA satellite, the Russian Service of Radio Liberty reported. Satellites detected fires on the ground near the Savaslika military airfield in the Nizhny Novgorod region, which was attacked by drones last night. The fact of the explosion on the territory of the airbase is confirmed by and the geolocation of one of the eyewitness videos. The attack on Kursk was the first step in the Putin regime's slide towards disaster. Russian political scientist Dmitry Oreshkin said this, The ideology of Putin's regime is... He is the only one who protects us. Now it is clear that he is only protecting himself and his political ambitions. The idea is already starting to take its place in the public opinion of Russia. Even the bloggers of the government ask, where are the troops of the CSTO? People were taught that we won the Second World War and will win again. In fact, it is not so, because the anti-Hitler coalition won the war, not us. There were 20 countries, including the United States, as members. Now, when it is not possible to win, public opinion is looking for a culprit, he said. 
According to Oreshki, the Russian state may face disaster. All generals see that Chechens do not fight. They run away, leaving the soldiers behind. Why? Because Ramzan Kadyrov protects them from participation in the post-Putin civil war. This is an indication of the beginning of the division of the territory of Russia. Putin will be gone someday, and these guys will stay and fight to make it clear who is the leader. The situation is similar to 1915 to 1916. Markus Faber, the head of the Bundestag's defense committee, said that Kursk operation showed that Russian leader Vladimir Putin has no control over anything and created a good basis for negotiations with his successor. According to him, the offensive of the Ukrainian armed forces against the Russians near Kursk is going better than expected. This step shows the Russian people that their dictator does not control anything and the military leadership is unable to fulfill its duties. A good basis has been formed for peace negotiations with Putin's successor. Also, a basis has been formed for negotiations with Putin at the International Criminal Court. He noted that such an operation forces the Russians to withdraw a large number of troops from eastern Ukraine. It reduces tensions, so there is good reason to talk about Leopard 2 tanks. Our military aid to Ukraine is the best investment in our security. It reduces the potential of the Russian threat every day.